Some people, for whatever reason, believe that they are the main character in the story of the world. Just today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the best examples of people with serious main character syndrome. From the subreddit r slash I am the main character. Did you guys think that was the bride? It wasn't. It was the bitch that wore a wedding dress to somebody else's wedding. And she's still here on the day. Just to wear a wedding dress to someone else's wedding, man. He over you paid seven hundred dollars to stare at the back of a sign at the Drake concert. Wait, who's the person with the main character syndrome? Who 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 are they calling the person with the main character syndrome? The person that took the sign or the person holding the sign? Because I'm with the person that took the sign. That's just annoying behavior, holding up a sign so people behind you can't see. Going for an emergency exit at the airport. Okay, I think I've seen this video before. Next place. You're not going to go anywhere, sir. Thank you. Wait, what airline is this? I'm going to make... Is that easy, Jeff? I've got a decision made. Okay, right. So I've I, I seen this video and he got onboarded for some reason. Uh, a lot of airlines will just onboard you because they've overbooked, which I think is outrageous. I don't think that should be allowed. And if that is what happened, then this guy has a right to be mad. But let, let's keep watching. My girlfriend got no, no, you're not because traveling today. You're making... <laughs> but, yes, go. Yes, go. Go. It is a bit mad they split. He must have done something if he, if the, the guy split him up. If not, that is just harsh. I made a decision. That's it. You go back to the departure lounge, sir. Oh, he must have done something. He seems angry at him. The guy filming must have done something then. I got to talk with the manager and I explained to him the situation and he told me I can board. I don't know what the situation is. Did he just get unboarded for no reason? Because that does sound very easy, Jet. The problem was that since they unboarded me, the crew closed the doors. Where to go? Oh no. Oh man. Uh... I swear you could get arrested for doing shit like this. Oh my god. I didn't know that this would trigger the air. It's an emergency. Air. Why would you risk that? You set off the alarm for the fucking airport. Are you mental? Yeah, they're of course not going to let you on. What do you mean? What, would you think they were just going to let you on? No. Like, if that happens, like, it sucks. It sucks. But just, I don't know, I guess wait for the next plane. Don't risk putting yourself in prison by going through the emergency exit and setting off the alarms. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. The cozy season of autumn is upon us. Look at me. I'm wearing a quarter zip. Very cozy. And there's nothing like good old home cooking to get into the snug vibes. I've been using HelloFresh for probably close to four years now, and I've been loving it long before they paid me to say nice things about it. Everything comes nicely packaged in a box with recipe cards included to make cooking exquisite dishes oh so simple. Every week you get to choose from a massive selection of meals that get delivered to your door and HelloFresh caters to every dietary preference. I usually go for the meals labelled as rapids. I'm, I'm making a pork noodle dish here that literally took me 10 minutes and this was the final result. Bosh. The quality for price here is incredible and there's no food waste as everything is pre-portioned out nicely for you. Don't worry if you're away or just don't fancy a box on a particular week. You can skip weeks in the app easy so click the link in the description and use code 60 george m for 60 percent off your first box 25 percent off for the next two months and some free gifts this is a bargain and a half if i do say so myself thanks again to hellofresh for sponsoring this video we have so many people here that's enjoying themselves okay oh, no. this is what we're gonna do we're gonna do the last part now now what now what are you doing now what are you doing Hey, sweetheart, there's kids here. There's kids here. Why, why is she interrupting? Why is she just stood there? Like, what is she getting out of this? <laughs> Entitled cyclist thinks she owns the road. Cyclists are like peak main character syndrome, aren't they? They just think everything revolves around them. Everyone should inconvenience themselves for them. Absolute knobheads. Why the fuck would you do that? Like, I swear cyclists just have a fucking death wish. I remember I was crossing the road. It was a red light, right? It was a red light for the cars. And I was crossing the road. This cyclist just fucking comes like pelting down the hill at me. And it almost hits me. Like, they're just dickheads. They are just absolute dickheads. And then they cry when they get hurt from their own stupidity. It just makes you a dumb ass hoe. Me? Yeah, are you. How's that make me that? What do you mean? Why does it make me that for not kissing you? Because anyone here would. Really? Yeah, uh, hey, watch this. All right, go get wait. a guy. Uh, <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Watch this. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Okay, this is kind of cringe, but it's nowhere near as bad as the people that will just like, when they're playing delayed by like an hour, will whip out the guitar and start singing songs. Those people are the absolute worst. This is cringe, yeah. Nowhere near as bad as the guitar folk. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Gender reveals are getting out of hand. Those are like military helicopters. Like, is a gender reveal really that important that you hire two fucking helicopters? I'm guessing there's gonna be a third. That was a fucking fight. How much do these people pay for this? Like, it's really not that deep finding out, like, the gender. You, like, you don't need to hire military vehicles to, to reveal the gender of your baby. <laughs> Why is he ready to punch the horse? He's like, if you do that again, I'll punch... What? He's having words with the horse as if the horse understands. POV, you attract attention everywhere you go. Yeah, probably because you set up your phone and dance in front of it in train stations. Dance if you pay for her nails. Are you not embarrassed? Like, are you seriously not embarrassed by this? Try to flash mob in an art gallery. It did not go as planned. Is it like a thing of like you try and get people to get involved with you in this? Uh, you be she thinks she's a celebrity. Uh, no one's looking at people in the background of videos. <laughs> Why are you asking for it to get rid of? I wouldn't say that's especially main character syndrome. I'd just say that's like maybe a, a bit strange behavior. This dude knocks your drink. What do you do? I, I mean, not very much. That is probably the biggest man I've ever seen in my life. He's like Shaq. He's enormous. What can I do? Why do people post grabs of themselves crying? Vulnerable me leaving the dentist's office, even though all they did was take an x-ray. Why are, you, why are you posting this? Like, if you get upset by shit like that, then fine, whatever. But why are you posting a video on social media of you crying? Selfish woman and man take seat from tourists in the UK. Ma'am, you're sitting on our seat. This is our reserve seat. You're just seat. selfish, Justin. I'm not selfish. You are selfish. You are. We are standing and we reserve the seat and we are the ones standing. You have no respect. My penis. Why would I respect a person because who's older? Who's and you are younger and physical. You're not older. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it when middle-aged people are like, yeah, but I'm I'm old, so I, I'm I'm it means I have to sit. You are not like 70 or 80. You are like 40 or 50. You are perfectly fine. I was sitting outside and I saw you hijacking our seat. You didn't ask for us. You could have asked, okay, my head, leg is hurting. Can I sit for a minute? You did. You hijacked our seat. You're acting like a thief here. You hijacked your seat and you have no shame tell up, tell and then you're the real way, like. That really annoys me because uh, these people are quite brave because I would never confront someone about like taking my seat. I just feel too embarrassed about it. These people are brave. Can I have oh. Ice cream, ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> the poor guy behind the counter. He just doesn't know what to do. Oh. oh, that is the worst one I've seen so far. Oh my days. Well, I'd rather trying to relax. Come, 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 John Cena, come. Yo, John Cena. It's me, Modin. I trolled you last time, remember? Yeah, I understand. I'm back. How are you? Thanks. I'm good, man. Uh, how can I shake your hand? Yep. Oh, man, John Cena. Okay. Have you know day. I made you famous. <laughs> Bug you off, you know I made you <laughs> Wait, what on earth? She's coming to kick me out. She's telling me to put my shirt back on because others feel insecure. You're in a gym with a shirt off, you weapon. What are you on about? I tell her sure, but it's not my fault I'm jacked. Right. Uh, don't ever feel bad for how others feel because you worked hard to have what they want. Yeah, but you're, just, you're, just, you're just making people feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> like in the gym with your shirt off, man. POV, you're an MMA fighter, but your flight is delayed. Regular civilian. Act like it. Yeah, you don't look very menacing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> People that do shit like this, just they just... Ugh. It's just so cringe. Like, who are you trying to impress? It's clear you're just doing it to try and impress other people. It's just, oh, it's so cringe. Oh, 
$1,000. He was not having it. You gotta act like you've fucking been here before. Ew. Yeah, fucking fair enough. It's his boat. Rich YouTuber thinks he can do whatever he wants to people because he has a bodyguard. He has a bodyguard. Like, who is this guy? Go. What? Who the fuck is this guy? I've never seen this person before in my life. What are you gonna do, little bro? He just looks like every British 16-year-old ever. Oh my god! Yes! 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 These are the exact type of people I was talking about on the plane! Oh, I would... I would shatter that guitar. I do not care if she pressed charges for me for destroying her property, but I would shatter that guitar if I was stuck in an elevator with that. Always wanted to do a Lion Sleeps Tonight flash mob, and he figured there wasn't a better place than Disney. Oh god. Oh no. It's just cringe. Oh, I can't, I'm skipping to the end. Oh, it's, that's horrifying. Hey, excuse me, how much do you make a year in New York? How much do I make a yeah. year for New York? Too many numbers for your little head. Huh? So, uh, like $10,000 or less. You think it's funny that you're coming up to me? You, you know who I am or what? No. Do you know who I am? No. $10,000 per year. You think I make $10,000 per year? Yeah. Are you crazy or what? Are you crazy? It's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. You crazy? Do you realize who my family is? Oh, what is it, daddy's money? I can buy your house, my little guy. Oh. Look, you look, you're wearing perfect right now. Yo, we gotta go, we gotta go. What's up with your guy? You Listen, don't like ask me how much I make per year, okay? I make more money than you can imagine, okay? But little no, pheasant. Uh, you little pheasant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Also, just a general good rule of thumb. The people that are like this are never actually make that much money. Like, if you're going around calling people peasants, you're, you're definitely, like, overcompensating. I'm gonna leave it there for this video. Like and subscribe if you are the main character.